Welcome back wrestling junkies, Jake Hodges here. Let's get into it. In this video, we're gonna look at some finish adjustments that Baev hits when he's not able to just get his initial drive through finish on his high low position. In this clip, Baev doesn't immediately get the guy off balance, so he's gotta create the off balance to finish. Hits just like normal. Then do his high low position. This guy's able to get his foot posted in the mat to maintain a little bit of balance. Now, Baev starts making micro adjustments with his feet and his head. So he starts to get a little bit of weight this direction, not a bunch, just a little bit to start making this guy feel some pressure on his back leg. Now here's where the big adjustment comes. So Baev's gonna start to step to the right to get this guy's weight shifted. This guy has to pick his foot up and post it out to the right so that he doesn't get run through right away. Right, so he's got his post foot back out to the side Baev was starting to finish on. Now Baev's gonna take him to the side where he's got no post, all right? So he's got this guy's leg off the mat on this side. So he's gonna adjust his finish by like dumping him toward his butt or like C-stepping, traditional like circle your feet in front and kind of feel like you're gonna drop the guy to his butt. So as he starts to circle in front, the guy has to adjust his foot again. So his foot goes from being posted and defending a finish this direction. Now as Baev makes the adjustment with his feet and starts to dump this guy toward his butt, he has to make an adjustment with his foot. You can see this guy's foot was starting to come back to defend the dump. Now, just before he gets his foot planted, Baev's already adjusting back to this drive-through finish, because this guy's got no post on this side now. This defends the dump, but it doesn't defend this drive-through finish, so Baev's able to just run through him here. Baev hits like normal, guy plants his foot for some balance. Here's where the micro adjustments start to happen. A little bit of a dump there to get the guy to adjust his foot. Not a big one, just a little weight shift to the left. Now, Bayev's gonna look to drive across just to get this guy to adjust his foot. So his foot is fairly balanced. He's gotta hop it out to the side to stop this drive. Now as Bayev feels the guy plant his weight into this foot, he's gonna take him back to where he's got no post. So he starts to pull this leg out this direction for a little C-step motion or dump motion. Now this guy has to adjust his plant foot again. You see his plant foot is moving to defend the dump, but Baev's already adjusted to his next finish where he's driving through this guy because he's got no post. This clip's a similar concept as the last one. He has to make adjustments, drive and C-step back and forth till he gets his finish. So he hits like normal right away, starting to drive through him. This guy's got his post foot in the mat, drives, posts his foot in the mat again. Now here comes the adjustment. I have steps in front, 
and starts to shift the weight toward where the guy does not have a post. So he starts to shift this weight. You can see this guy starting to adjust the only post he has left, trying to get it back behind him so he can stop this dump. But it ends up hitting at a weird angle and he's not gonna be able to stop Baev from taking him to his butt. So Baev circles in front, sits him right down. So he hits, gets all the weight shifted into this guy's far leg. Boom. Weight all right here. No post this direction. Back toward the guy's butt. So Baev circles in front and gets all the weight toward where he's got no post. guy tries to adjust with his leg he's not able to get it back over there in time but I was able to sit him right down similar concept as the last two in this clip take the guy where he doesn't have a post but in this one we're going to start to see some adjustments where if Baev's top hand gets pushed off or slips off and he's going to drop down to more traditional um, head outside position So he hits like normal, starts his drive. This guy's stopping his drive with his post leg. So Baev's gonna start to adjust by taking the guy's weight where he doesn't have a post. And this is just really good balance by Kazimov. So he posts his hand, whereby I've shifted that weight. Now, this is something we're gonna start to see a lot in these next few clips, where his Baev's top hand either slips or gets pushed off, or something where it's not really controlling the guy's top trap anymore. So Kazimov starts to push his arm off. Baev's gonna swing it back in front and drop both hands to his leg. Now. Since Kazimov's arms in front, Baev starts with a single leg type position, but he's always looking to shift his head back outside. I think he's just more comfortable there. There's nothing wrong with finishing single leg here, but Baev just likes head outside position more. So he starts to reach his hand up and across for a double leg as he shifts his head back outside. Now this is something he does fairly often where he drops his head like behind the guy's butt. When he drops his head to his butt like this, it does a couple things. First, it's getting the guy's weight to shift forward because he's gonna be pushing with his head. The second thing it does is since Baev is below this guy's knee with his control, it's gonna start to lock this guy's hip out a little bit. So he's not able to get weight back into Baev. Now as he reaches across for this double leg, Kazimov's starting to push his hand away. Baev shifts back to try and get his hand free. Head back below Kazimov's butt. Gets this little high double leg position. Now as he starts to drive through, Soon as his arm goes from below Kazimov's knee up to above it, where he's like higher double leg position, his head also shifts up with it. Because he can no longer lock this guy's hip out anymore because he's not below his knee and he's just looking for a quick finish. They kind of battle in this position for a little bit and he eventually scores it. So one more time. Kazimov stops his initial drive with his post foot. So Baev's gonna take him to where he's got no post, which is 
straight down through this direction. Kazimov makes just kind of an insane adjustment by posting his hand in the mat and pushing Baev's top arm off. Pushing his arm off is going to make Baev come back to two arms on the leg. Now he kind of battles this single leg head in front position for a little bit. He wraps his arm below the guy's knee. Starts to reach across for this double leg as he shifts his head outside. Now since his arm's below this guy's knee, he's going to drop his head behind his butt to get Kazimov's weight shifted forward, plus kind of lock out Kazimov's hip. All right, so he's controlling his like knee and hip joint being below his, his knee with his arm. Kazimov tries to push his hand off for this double leg. Baev makes some adjustments, pulls his arm back, shifts his head back behind his butt, arm still below. Now he's got his double leg position with his hand. Now as his hand, his left hand, his back hand slides up above the guy, above Kazimov's knee, his head comes with it. And I think, in my opinion, he takes his head too high here. He, I think he should put it more on his hip, but. Kazimov's reaching inside for his, like a switch motion, so he drops his he drops his chest pretty hard. Uh, he's looking to get his head back on his hip, but and they battle this position for a little bit until Baev scores it. So this one, he hits just like normal. He starts to drive through the guy. Now two things happen here that stop his initial drive finish. First thing, guy posts his back foot, stop him from driving through. Second thing, guy pushes his arm up and over his head, so he's got no control with his top hand anymore. Anytime his top hand gets loose, he's going to drop back down with it in front of the guy's body. Looking to go more traditional head outside position. So here it looks like the guy hops away and kind of tries to drag him down in a single leg position. As he adjusts back up, Baev kind of pushes his head away. After his hand drops back down, Baev's looking to rotate his head back outside like he likes to do. So now he's back in his more traditional head outside position. He starts to drive the guy. Hits his knee. He's reaching across for a double leg here. Now as the guy starts to get his legs back a little bit, Baez is going to step up and repenetrate. Try and close that space with his hips. These are really good defensive adjustments, by the way, from Zerbaev, um, the guy in blue. That's pretty incredible. So he repenetrates back in, gets his head on his hip. Now he's under the guy's arm, so he's in a really good position. Comes back up to his feet to start his finish. Does that little dump motion to kind of get the weight going back. Toward the side, he doesn't have a post. He's gonna step across and try to drive through. His head gets kind of loose here and Zerbaev's able to push off of it, which is why he doesn't get this initial drive finish. Plus his adjustment with his foot, hopping back out. Zerbaev rotates his head back down to his hip and only gets a push out here, but still a lot of really good defensive and offensive adjustments in this one. It's pretty uh, pretty high level wrestling. Let's look at it again. So he's driving, drive stopped with post foot, plus 
pushing Baev's top hand off. Baev swims that arm back in front. Looking to get the more traditional head outside position. He's making some more adjustments defensively by hopping his foot away and kind of turning his hips to get Baev's head loose. Baev reaches up, kind of create a little space between their bodies. Now he rotates his head back outside. Starts to drive. Defensive guy hits his knee. So Baev drops to re-penetrate in. Defensive guy gets his feet back. As he reaches across for this double leg, he comes back up to his feet. Does a little C-step motion to get the weight shifted back to this side now he's going to drive through defense guy is able to push away from him get his head loose Baev drives through just for a one point push out which is probably the best that the defensive guy could have done there this club's my favorite uh, the adjustments made by Baev here are, are pretty neat um with what the guy gave him for, for defense initially. High low position. Looking to drive. Defensive guy is hopping. His post foot out now in this one he's able to get his attack leg into the mat so as his attack leg hits the mat he's gonna squat and point his knee sideways and it makes Baev's hand kind of pop off now this is my favorite part so the adjustment Baev makes here is a little outside knee drop and he's gonna attack low on the defensive guy's leg so he hits his outside knee drop reaches low top hand slides off the guy's shoulder now he's in to his head outside position that he likes so he's below the guy's knee, which means his head is going to go below and behind the guy's butt to kind of lock his hip out. But this angle here, pretty uncomfortable for a defensive guy. Not a whole lot of turning in in a way that he can do. As he comes back up to his feet. He's going to dump him toward his butt and circle in front. As Rabaev hits his hand. So he hits initial defense. Both feet end up hitting the mat, and he's gonna point his knee in, making Baev's hand pop off. Baev starts to reach low and hits his outside knee. Now he's gonna slide in and start to look for his traditional head outside position, head below the guy's butt to lock his hip out and drive him forward. Now he circles up to his feet, circles in front, Kind of get that weight shifted toward his non-post side. Captures far leg. Easy finish.